how to stay safe while solo traveling. So solo traveling, I've said this before, isn't always as dangerous as people make it out to be, especially if you're doing a lot of hiking, uh, you know, away from people, because the farther you are away from people, the safer you'll, you're going to be overall. Uh, but there are still some dangers that you could encounter, not just people, maybe wild animals, maybe other situations that could be potentially dangerous. So I'm going to go over a few ways in which you can uh, protect yourself, be prepared, and just stay safe in general uh, when, when just traveling solo. So the first thing I always say is have some sort of uh, something to protect yourself with, mainly pepper spray uh, or something of that sort, maybe a taser. Um, and something like that. Uh, because it's a long distance weapon, you can keep people away from you, you can keep certain animals away from you if they're trying to, to come at you. Um, but if they're very small, like a, a mace is very small to take with you, very easy to use, uh, and very effective as well. It will definitely keep most creatures away from you uh, in a, a time of emergency when you, when you need it. Um, and again, tasers work, you know, in a very similar way in terms of efficiency. Uh, but besides just having, you know, a, something to protect yourself with like that, uh, being prepared is also important. Uh, making sure someone you know has your location, especially if you're going camping really out in the wilderness or hiking a really long trail, you know, off the beaten path. Uh, having a satellite communicator is a very good idea because when you're out, when there's no cell service, you can't use your phone if you're in trouble. You know, maybe you hurt your ankle or you're stuck or something. Uh, you can't use your phone because there's no cell service out there. So using a satellite communicator is a good idea because it uses satellites, obviously, uh, instead of standard uh, cell communication. And that will make it very easy for, um, you know, for you to send out a message to your friends or your family. Uh, to let them know that you are in need of some kind of help or you just want to let them know where you are uh, and that sort of thing. So it's just an extra layer of safety there. Now another way to stay safe when traveling solo, whether you're hiking or camping or really doing anything on your own, is to just be aware of your surroundings. Um, just like, you know, scan, listen, uh, keep an eye out for whatever might be uh, in your vicinity. Uh, and again, this applies to people and animals alike. Uh, again, if you're out camping in the middle of nowhere, uh, animals are probably going to be more likely to encounter than people. And the, the good thing about wild animals is that they're kind of afraid of people in general. They're still steer clear of you. But there are some cases, maybe you're in grizzly bear ter territory, uh, you know, it can be a little bit more iffy in terms of safety. You should definitely be more on the lookout for that. Um, and that sort of thing. Always bring bear spray if you're in bear country uh, to protect yourself and that sort of thing. But yeah, being on the lookout is just a good way to, to be aware of your surroundings to make sure you know what exactly is around you. Uh, so you have more reaction time, better preparedness to react uh, in case something does happen, uh, which it probably won't, but just in case it does. So. Besides that, you also want to be just in general prepared um, when you're alone because obviously there's not going to be other people there to help you if you happen to be in trouble. And this is especially true uh, if you're doing really long hikes, like multi-day hikes or through hikes, uh, or if you're, you're just backcountry camping, you're really out on your own. Um, you always want to have some basic gear with you. Uh, a first aid kit is probably the one of the most important. Um, all you need is a small kit with the basic essentials. You know, some antiseptics, some bandages, that sort of thing. So in case you injure yourself, you, you fall on a rock or something, you scrape yourself, uh, you could easily clean up that wound, don't worry about infections, and you'll be good to go. Now in the same vein, you also want to be aware of, uh, you know, what kind of food you should bring with you, what other kind of gear you should bring with you um, to help you just really be self-sufficient when you're on your own. Uh, and, you know, there's many different types of snacks and foods and meals you could bring with you. Uh, dehydrated meals are very popular. Um, you know, just add some water and cook them up and you're, you're good to go. And then also your water source. Uh, bring a water filter or uh, purification tablets or both. Um, maybe even boil water if necessary. But uh, 
you definitely want to know how to find water and make it clean and drinkable. Uh, that way you, you shouldn't have really that many problems when you're out on your own, um, doing your own thing out in the wild. Um, but those are kind of the main things to look out for. Many people make the mistake, even on short hikes, they make the mistake of not taking enough water, not taking food, not taking the right uh, footwear, you know, they wear sandals out and they're hiking 10 miles. Uh, these could all be very critical mistakes. You could get injured, you could you could get seriously ill, uh, you could get very dehydrated, uh, especially in the summer, you could have some heat stroke problems if you don't bring enough water to stay hydrated, um, and things like that. So it's always really best to be over prepared when you're on your own because again, there's really not going to be anyone else there uh, to help you. I mean, you can hope that some, you know, stray wanderer will come across you at some point, but that's a kind of a low chance. So really just keep everything you need with you to be safe, be prepared, um, and things like that. And that way you won't have to worry so much about if you get hurt or if something happens, uh, because you'll have everything you need with you um, to just sort out the problem. Um, but that is pretty much what I have to say about how to stay safe when uh, solo traveling. So hopefully this video was helpful to you, and uh, if it was, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.